Okay, so it's the run up to Blackpool 2024, and it is basically Christmas for magicians. And I am spending the week speaking to the movers and shakers in the magic industry that are going to be at Blackpool and talking to them about what amazing goodies they've got coming up. And I'm excited because I'm talking to the person who probably year on year has more new releases than everybody else. Uh, and that is marvellous Matthew Wright. And mate, I don't know how you're going to beat last year. You had uh, the button thing, which was a worldwide bestseller. You had uh, you had that, that the crayon thing. Star Draws was amazing. You had the um, um, the, the, the app to force the color, which I still use all the time. You had uh, that, that, the the cabaret thing with the dot. I mean, you had so much amazing material last year. I don't see how you're going to top it this year. But I bet if anyone can, you I'm can. I'm not going to top it numbers wise. I think I had eight new releases last year. I haven't got that many. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Well, six if I include the masterpiece. But six. they are brilliant. All right, but before we talk about the six, though, you've also had some stuff come out recently which has never seen a Blackpool. Are you going to have that? Well, there? that's it. Yeah, yeah. Those are going to be the new to Blackpool too. Yeah. The the nesting envelopes, which has been a sensation. Really, people have been absolutely loving that. Visions, which is my Visions 2.0 or 2020 Visions. That's my favorite trick to perform. That's going to be there. So those two haven't been released at Blackpool before, plus these six. Plus the card under card under anywhere is having a, a little re-release as well because we sold out, so we did a, a little new routine on that. So, yeah, I guess that counts as nine. Yeah, I've got nine again. Go. Yeah. But yeah. let's talk about, uh, obviously. Oh, ten. Did... I forgot about one. Oh my god. I have beat it. Woohoo. <laughs> yes. We're not going to talk about the masterpiece because obviously a couple of weeks ago I did a full interview with you all about the masterpiece. Yes. Yeah. Suffice to say, it's brilliant. It's amazing. It's probably the best cabaret trick I've ever seen. And uh if you want to know more about it, you can go and check out that interview. We did like a 45-minute interview all about exactly what it is. But at Blackpool, you are going to have one there. People can look at it. People can yeah. touch it. And you will be taking orders. And then straight yes, after Blackpool, orders stop. You then cannot buy this thing. It's not like you can wait and a month later it's going to appear in Murphy's Warehouse and then sent out to everyone worldwide. Once Blackpool's done, it's done. And then it's not going to come on the market, if ever, for a very long time. So exactly, if you're a stage performer... One, go back and look at my interview with Matthew where we talked about the masterpiece. But then secondly, go and see him at Blackpool because he'll have one there. And if you want one, there's the time to put your order in. Um, but putting the masterpiece to one side, tell me what good is you, well, you're going to have. If you're a close-up worker, we have got you covered. Uh, you did mention last year that I released the Brass Buttons, which was a massive, massive hit. Uh, well, I was I've on that project. I love that. You were, yeah, and I, your routine was incredible. I was when I watched it, I was like, "Wow, you did great routine." A lot of people did some great routines. Nick Lawrence, Roddy McGee, uh, Gary Jones, tons and tons of guys on there. Um, this year, a little update too. We've got silver buttons. Wow, they they look nice. They probably look even yeah. better. I think so. Yeah, the rusty old washer. Some people weren't so keen on it. It was difficult to get the match with the gaff and the gimmick exactly right. Now they just match perfectly. That's really good. That's really good. And I haven't, I mean, it's almost a new release for Blackpool because I didn't have them. I had a few with me at Blackpool, but we hadn't done the tutorial. I hadn't done any routines. I'd, they'd literally arrived from the supplier that morning and i had them they arrived, arrived sunday morning and i was giving them out even, sunday you weren't even deming it because you I were didn't like have a routine. routine i had nothing oh. so i was yeah. waiting i was waiting on mark southworth to to meet up with him that uh that weekend and and do the routines and then unfortunately he uh he passed away a couple of weeks after blackpool yeah, it's still a very sad loss for the community. It really is. But I mean, his crazy, his, yeah. His, I'm so glad that you know you were still able to bring this out. And I've been using not only, for for a couple of reasons as well because it has sold really, really well, and it's it's managed to help Mark's family and and see them through a, through a tough time as well. Because he obviously he was a partner on it. It's still absolutely 
half of the project is is still Mark's, and that's that's still going to his his family. So it is helping support his his family through that as well. That's amazing. That's amazing. It really is. And I I've been using brass buttons since last Blackpool. So has Ryland. And um, I I I think that the silver will be better. I think the silver. That if I had one negative to say about it, having used it so much, it would be that that brass button. It's fine. But I can see the silver making a big difference. So yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And if you come to the stand, I'll be able to do my routine now, which I've been doing for twelve months. So there you go. So, so to get them. And for people that don't know what the original brass buttons is, it's <laughs> an incredible version of copper silver brass. But instead of using a Mexican centavo and a half dollar or whatever it may be, uh, you're using a silver washer using a little blue button and you're using a lovely little ceramic coin stroke poker chip type thing. And you have these three and basically using these three, you can do incredible routines. And what Matt did, which I thought was amazing is the tutorial had so many routines from so many super intelligent guys, really, really good close-up workers. So you're getting so many different ways of using these coins so, you know, some people were saying in the reviews on the Magic Cafe that the tutorial was like their favorite part of the whole project. It was like a yeah. mess. It, it, that was worth the price without without even the props they would have paid. Because the price of it's crazy. It's like 40 pounds. The price is absolutely ridiculous for what you get. And a lot of people saying the tutorial, which you are part of, was, was worth it. Have you seen the trailer? for? You haven't seen the trailer for Silver Buttons? No, I haven't. You're on it. I'm on it. I'm excited. Yeah. This yeah. is good. Yeah, I, I, I took a lot of, because it got such smash reviews, uh, so I've put a lot of the reviewers on there saying what they thought of it. So you and Ryland make it onto the trailer. So oh, thank you. Yeah, finally, I've made it. This is great. <laughs> Boom. Okay, so Silver Buttons, you're leading, uh, you're starting this off with a massive, massive, massive trick. One of the best tricks of 2023. What are we following that up with? Let's just come, well, let's go, let's bring it down a little bit, but still beautiful. Okay. This is my Chamber of Secrets deck of cards. You show me these. These are, are beautiful. Look, Look at that foil embossed backs on there. And our, the Chamber of Secrets is my theatre where it's all steampunk. Uh, so the oh. the oh, co copper embossed on the back and then the front are beautiful. Just look at those reds popping. I love That's the black. I love the black with the red on and it. It then, reminds me of a bit of an old school black tiger type look to yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm going for. And then we've got these. The black pips are bright, like a copper color. Beautiful deck of cards. The box is gorgeous. Um, Who printed so, them? WJPC, which oh. is like the, the the very high high quality printing company Think in China. Of, yeah, they're great. Yeah, they've done a lot of the butterfly cards. They've done some wonderful, wonderful projects. Massive on Kickstarter. Most of the Kickstarter projects are, are done with WJPC. Wonderful company to work with. Uh, and the quality of them is incredible. Yeah, so really happy with those. Yeah. That's Next great. up, we've got S season two of is coming out of uh, Squid Games, isn't it? The, the, they had season one Squid Games. Then they had the reality show Squid Games. I don't know if you saw it. That was quite cool. I did. That was fun, yeah. And then season two is coming out of Squid Game soon. So we've got season two of Squid Cards. <laughs> of course you have. Uh, the, I remember reviewing these when these first came out. These was such a clever idea. Uh, basically, it was an ESP style matchup using really kind of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it was almost like cardboardy style stock. And yeah, it's that little business card. Yeah, the marketing yeah. system on the back was really clever. And it was based yeah. on the game in season one with the umbrella and and where you had to chip away at the cookie. And uh, yeah, they, they were great. Well, it's a similar thing. People There's more cards there, though, now, isn't there? It's the same. People will complain a little bit about the cards. So these are now card stock. They're, they're made on card stock. Some of the games that you play, uh, we have printed on there. So this is more like you would... It's like a, a deck of cards that you would buy from a sh from a game shop to play at home with squid cards. The original ones were as though they'd come out of the film themselves, out of the TV show themselves, and that's what they would have used. This is almost like squid 
games have released their own brand of 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 games to play at home. So that's what this is. It's it's more of a a game looking thing, so you can play Squid Games at home. That's great. But obviously, still packed with routines. We've got some new routines on there. We've got the same old routines. We've got Michael Murray's uh, jazz mentalism. I was going to say that Michael Robson. Murray being on there was like almost the price of the project, if you ask me. I mean, that is. I mean, that's the trick. That's my go-to trick. It's incredible. I absolutely love it. Um, I've got my. I'm. I'm doing a, an essentials of close-up magic. Uh, download so that'll be on there. So I've, I've got my eight rules of uh, of what it takes to to be a great close up magician. So oh, wow. that's part of a, a lecture. I'm going to uh, to Holland and Belgium and things after Blackpool finishes, doing a lecture tour around there. And it's the, it's based on the essentials of uh, of close up magic. I think I've stolen the 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 name of the the title from Eugene Berger. I think he had a, an essentials of close up magic. So I'll, I'll be doing that, which is. I'm just filming that as we speak. I'm halfway through filming it. Fascinating stuff. I'm not really teaching tricks on there. I'm teaching more about the psychology of of what works in close-up magic and how to engage with an audience, how to make the audience care about what you're doing and how to take it from just a card trick into something that fits them emotionally, how to install your own character into, into close-up magic. And I show performances and break it down as to why I'm doing it in that style. So it's more of a theory-based thing than, than a trick learning thing. There's a million tricks out there. There's very little on theory and even less on the theory of close-up magic. So that's what the essentials of close-up magic is based on. That's great. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, so that'll be a download that they can download or stream and and, and well, yeah, you if you if you're at Blackpool, you get it on a on a little card. Perfect. Um speaking of making close-up magic engaging and, and mean something, one of the greatest tricks ever. I think is uh, out of this world. I would completely agree with you. I mean, it's incredible. Incredible trick. Well, I've taken out this world and dragged it into the modern age with Swiper. Are we talking about the the fox from uh, Door no, of the Explorer? Swiper is based on Tinder and Grinder. You know, oh, when you swipe cool. left and you swipe right, swipe left, swipe right. So in here, we've got a load of dating profiles nice I've got I love males this. males and females you swipe left and swipe right if you if you like them or not and then when you turn them over at the end all the people that you didn't like say no match and all the people that you did like say match wow that's a the eye cool. of this world principle but is i mean it's a completely different technique i've got a new method uh, that's super, super simple. You don't stop the dealing process halfway through. You've got all the cards, you deal them all out into any pile and we turn them over and they match. It's a beautiful, beautiful principle. Uh, and then I add a kicker to it at the end. We take all your it's a match cards, mm -hmm. mix them up, you pick one of them and then I've, there's been an envelope prediction on the side. You open the envelope up. It says perfect match on the back. You turn them over. And the one card that you've chosen out of all your matches matches the perfect match exactly. Uh, so it's it's out of this world plus a really strong kicker. It's a beautiful effect. I love performing it. That is incredible. It's so engaging for the audience. You know, in, in out of this world, you you're just dealing cards from left to right. There's no meaning to it. Every single card that you deal from left to right now has importance and significance to it. it. It's a fascinating trick. Really, really love performing it. And people really engage with it. There's a few little comedy things in there as well. At the end, if you're doing this for, for weddings or whatever like that, you can switch in the perfect match to be the husband or the or the groom or the bride. And then when you turn when you turn them over, the big kicker is that it's the groom or the bride and it's the perfect match. So when you're dealing left to right, that isn't in there, but you add it in at the end and when they turn it over, their perfect match is the husband, which is a beautiful thing to perform for, for couples. And also you can do a comedy ending where you go through it all and then at the, the end they turn over the, the big, fat, ugly guy with no missing teeth and things like that. So it's a wonderful, wonderful trick to re, uh, perform. Extremely baffling and uh and really easy to do so i think that could be could be a good one for people 
That's ridiculous. That's great. I love that. Everything that you've said, that's my favorite. I could, I, I would do that in a heartbeat immediately. That's super commercial. That has super the chance. Commercial. That has, honestly, that has the the chance of being like the trick of the convention. Just that's. I hope so because no one knows about it. Nobody knows about it. this. Will be launching for Valentine's Day. So people will have it so they can do it for perform it for Valentine's Day. But I haven't mentioned it to anyone. There's no like underground noise about it. Nobody knows this is coming. So I think it's going to really surprise people when it hits. That's amazing. Huge, huge, huge release there. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And then another one, me and Mark Bennett are producing The Dead Man's Hand. This is the thing I've been, I was most excited about, honestly. Me too. I think it's I think it's I love King's I love, first of all, I love Queen's Nose. I really did. If I had one complaint about it, it was that the reveal of the card wasn't as apparent in low light situations. And yeah. then King's Secret came out and that solved all of the problems for me. And I do that routine all of the time. King's Secret is amazing. Mark told me about this. And when he told me about it, I said, this is this is the one. This is this is going to make me stop doing King's Secret because I am more interested in the subject matter behind this than I am the subject matter behind the King's Secret. I think this is just incredible. And this opens up so many routines. I put on. I've got a fifteen-minute parlor routine that I use with this. That's wow. packed full of magic and full of routines that I teach on on the on the tutorial. It's got every level from absolute beginner from someone who's never picked up a pack of cards before to someone who, who's won fizz and there's something for everybody in there like you said for those who don't know the the queen's nose or the king's secret the basic it comes in two there's a special edition and the basic this is the basic it comes with four coins which is incredible value for money a billy the kid coin uh, which is a it's it's a bounty coin. It says Billy the Kid most wanted uh, wanted dead or alive. They look they look so good. They do. They look authentic. Um, on the back there, there's 21 bullets on there because Billy the Kid killed 21 people. Uh, he was 21 when he died. Uh, the year on there is 1881, which is the year that he died. Um, but it also 1881 is a one and eight and eight and a one. And the dead man's hand is two aces and two eights. The coincidences in this story is incredible. There are so many stories to be told. Anyway, it comes with three gas coins. On the back, we have three reveal cards. Love how the cards almost look like they're intertwined into the... Yeah, exactly. They're underneath They're underneath the guns and, and the bull's head. We also have, and this is one of the best decks I've ever seen. It's fantastic. We work for ages on this. The Dead Man's Deck. Okay. The box here is an old craft box. It's all battered and torn. The printing's all faded. This, it says Deadwood Saloon on the front, which is where Wild Bill Hickok was shot and killed holding the Dead Man's Hand. Wow. Inside here, these cards are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at those. They're great. Just Age card and individually aged. Any of these cards that are on the market that are aged now, they all have the same aging pattern. So if you like look through it, you can see these are all different. They've individually been aged and marked and scratched. On the front, these court cards are beautiful, just one way court cards. Just a fabulous looking, fabulous looking deck. And these again are all individually aged and scratched and marked. Talking of them being marked, they are marked on the back. They've got a huge big mark on the back. Uh, they're also marked in another way, just in the top corner of the three uh, force cards, the three cards that match the forces, they have a separate marking as well so that you can instantly see where your force card is. So you can you can force instantly. That's a brilliant from idea. That's it's a it's brilliant. wonderful. Three of the cards that you get in there, you only get one joker, but you get three matching cards for the index cards. Let me just see if I can find one of these. These are gorgeous. Oh, wow. That's so great. You've you got a bullet hole and blood stain through 
the force card. So you can you can force the card, shoot it, the card appears on the coin, and it also switches for a, a, a bullet hole coin with the blood stain on it. Yep. Gorgeous. It comes with an authentic picture of this is Billy the Kid. That really is Billy the Kid. That's Wild Bill Hickok. That really is Wild Bill Hickok. He's holding his hand, the dead man's hand. It tells the story of the dead man's hand on the back. It comes with a wanted poster uh, from Billy the Kid. This has reveals built into this. So one of the force cards there, I don't know if you can see that. It says five of diamonds. On the back here is a treasure map. It says Billy the Kid located near Deadwood Saloon. And then down the bottom here, it says bring a spade. So you can force a spade, loads of little cycle object, very Michael Murray like. You can force a load of stuff from the wanted poster. Some of the routines I've got an out of this, uh, not an out, an any card at any number routine. I love any card at any number. You'll absolutely love this routine because it's it's not any card at any number. It's any card at the next number. Wow. It's billed as a gambling game. A Wild West gambling game. So you shuffle the deck, put it back in the box. Say, now in the name any card, name any number. And it's called the dead cards. They're called dead cards. So if you say the king of diamonds at position eight. So you say the number eight and the king of diamonds. I now have to deal off eight cards. Those are dead cards. If any of those cards contain the King of Diamonds, I lose. So it's like an old-fashioned gambling game. So you deal down eight cards. The King of Diamonds hasn't appeared. You win a dollar. I give you the dollar. I say, but you've got to give me a chance to open it up. We unroll the dollar, and it says, turn the next card. They turn the next card, and it's the King of Diamonds, so I get my dollar back. Beautiful presentation. For, for any card at any number. I hope wow. I explained that right. I hope you understood what, what I'm doing with that. I did. That's great. So now, again, like the Out of This World, where with the, the swipe, where every turn of every card, every deal of every card is important, in this, every deal is, every turn of every card, every count is important because if they see their card, they're going to lose. So when you get to 14... Right. 12, 13, every single turn of the card is important and interesting to them. That's a great premise. That's brilliant. Brilliant, Matt. Absolutely brilliant. The the routines we've got built into this, the Dead Man's Hand, are incredible. They really are. We've got some um, some poker deals where you end up with the Dead Man's Hand and that leads you into the story. It's the routine in the, it's, this opens up if you're a, a creative magician, well, you don't even have to be creative because we've we've created it all for you. But it, it opens <laughs> so many possibilities. Or you just do it as the standard Queen's Nose presentation uh, and the card appears on the back of their coin. It, it's and, for and everybody. What, what's the difference between the standard and the deluxe, if you don't mind me asking? 20 quid. No, in terms of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> um, well, for that 20 quid, you get an awful lot. Like I said, the standard is forty pound. You get this little pouch. Yeah, with the coins. In fact, that's not right. The, the whole package is forty five pounds. I've just yeah, I've just realised the whole thing is forty five pound. The whole special edition. I think this is thirty pound. I've done the maths wrong on this. Are mate. you going mad? Yeah, I think so. Hang on, 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 hang on. Like seriously, it's sixty dollars, which I think. Turns out it's about forty-eight pounds. So we've rounded it down to Blackpool for forty-five pounds. So for hang on, so for thirty pounds you're getting the bag and you're getting the coins and you're getting the yes. tutorial. But for yeah. forty-five pounds you're getting the coins, the bag, the tutorial, the wanted poster with all the reveals on it, with the map and uh, all the reveals on it as well, and the custom printed deck of cards with the um, markings on them and the force cards marked and the extra cards with the bullet hole through them. And all of that, and all of these routines, including a 15-minute parlor set. And the ninja stack, which I haven't even told you about. What the fuck I is the ninja stack? I've created a, a, a memorized deck specifically for this. I'm selling it separately. You can buy the ninja stack for $20, uh, 20 18 pounds, whatever it is, $20 it retails at. You get that for free as well. 
The Ninja Stack allows you to do the any card at any number, dead cutting, I call it dead cutting, uh, where you cut to any card named, dead weight, where they drop and drop the cards on your hand and you tell them how many cards are there. But these are all presented as gambling games. Wow. As as what the Deadwood Saloon was a famous gambling haunt back in the 1800s. These were some of the games that they've played that have fallen out of favor now. So dead cut, you name any card, I'll cut to it. Boom. If I cut to it, you I win a dollar. If I don't, you win a dollar. Games like that, there's real premise behind these memorized deck routines. I include the uh the ninja stack in that as well. Well, I'm a huge fan of mem decks. Uh I, I use uh mnemonic and I have for years, but I'm telling you the amount of people that want to learn Memdeck, and I say you've just got to brute force memorize it, and they just don't, they can't. Um, you don't. This ninja stack, the learning system I've put together. Um, have a look at the trailer, and it'll give you a little bit of an idea. But it's a, it's a mnemonic, but the numbers correspond to a lot of the the order of the deck, and the way that I've taught it. For instance, uh, the 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 four of hearts is in position number 10, right? So in the video, as I'm talking, uh, the guy from Smokey and the Bandit comes on. He's like, 10 4, that's a big 10 4. So you, as you're watching the video, you're getting hypnotized into remembering what position they are. <laughs> that's great. That's amazing. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, Ninja stands for nine jack. Ninja. Okay. Ninja, nine jack. So there's a mnemonic behind it that's very, very easy to learn. And the positions of them are very easy to learn. So nine jack, ninja, the first two cards of the stack is nine and jack. One, two. So one and two is nine and jack. One, two. A ninja will learn one, two. And there's a little training video of a ninja in the back going one, two, one, two. So you're picking up the information of how to learn the stack as you're watching the video. That's clever. That's very clever. I wow. mean, it, it's still bloody hard work, isn't it? It's a memorized deck, but this takes a lot of the, the pain away from it, I think. And I can't believe you're doing that as well as everything at Blackpool for 45 quid. 45 quid, it's nonsense, isn't it? That's just stupid. I know. Well, I am stupid. I always do it. You think that's stupid? Do you know what else I'm doing? What? I'm doing the bundle. Oh, not the bundle. I genuinely don't know how you were able to afford to do this bundle last year. I can't. I can't. I can't afford to do it. So in the bundle, you've got the Dead Man's Hand, Swiper, Silver Buttons, uh, the Ninja Stack, the Nested Envelopes, Visions 2020, Squid Cards, my Chamber Cards, the Essential Lecture, and a little download uh, that I'm doing for easy to master cards with that. That's a total value of 250 I might do it for 80. It Are might be 100. Mad? I haven't decided which way to go with it yet. It might be 80. That's... It might be 100. I might, throw, I might throw in the card under anywhere wallet and make it up to 100. That's going to be the best deal at Blackpool, man. Well, there's, no, there's only going to be, you'll only get 10. There's only 10. Of oh, yeah, because there were only 10 last time, weren't there? Yeah, yeah, I only do. T I do it on my little best things to see at Blackpool because it co it cost me, it cost me a thousand pounds to go to get to Blackpool to go to get the dealer stamp to set up book my hotel. It cost me a thousand pounds, so I want to cover that cost before I get there. So ten bundle deals at hundred at a hundred pound each, it, it, it covers my costs, and then and then we we set. My wife doesn't shout at me for going on a on a jolly boys holiday as she calls it. <laughs> so how can people get the bundle? Uh, take a look on the uh, on on my site on my Facebook. Uh, the Web of Secrets will be um, it will have the the Blackpool. The, I haven't decided quite how many things to see. There might be six or seven things to see at Blackpool, and it will have the bundle deal on there too. Perfect, Matt. I think you're going to have another very successful Blackpool. There's some amazing stuff and. I, I would normally say I'm going to run over to your stand and pick everything up, but I'm just going to sort the bundle out beforehand and then leisurely come over and grab it at some point over the weekend. There won't be any bundles at Blackpool. They always go before we get there. So, oh, they will. yeah, get it, get it booked up and come and pick it up whenever you like.
Amazing. Matt, uh, congratulations on your continued success. I know January, February, March is full on when it comes to this sort of stuff. And then I'm guessing you're going to be back at the Chamber of Secrets then for the rest of the year, yeah. running the shows, keep going on there. But you're a busy guy, man. You're a busy, busy, busy guy. Well, we both are, Craig. We're both there. We're both trying to look after our families, eh? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, on behalf of Magic TV, thank you so much, Matt, for coming on. And uh, if I don't see you before, I will definitely see you at Blackpool. And for anyone who's watching, don't forget, Matt is touring the UK and you can see him before Blackpool. He's doing a lecture, probably with Harry Robson if he's not retired again. And can you just quickly go through those dates? Uh, where are you going? 5th of February in Manchester, 6th in Southampton, 7th Zodiac in West London, 8th in Darlington, 9th, 10th and 11th in the Isle of Man, 12th in Leicester, 13th Watford, 14th in Derby. That's perfect. That is absolutely amazing. Can you hear a noise in the background? No? No. Good. Okay, it's just coming at mine and that's fine. Matt, thank you once again for joining me on Magic TV. Guys, anybody that's watching this, please, please, please do me a favor. Go and check Matt out on his lecture tour because it's going to be brilliant. He's going to have the masterpiece with him as well. Go back and look at the video I did with Matt if you want to find out more about the masterpiece. Go and jump on the bundle deal and then go and say hello to him at Blackpool because he has some of the best tricks that are going to be there this year in 2024. Matt, thanks once again for being awesome. Cheers, buddy. Thank uh, you. I will see, see you, you soon. See you soon. Guys, on behalf of Matthew Wright, we'll see you again. Mm.